If you're a social media manager who could take on one or two more social media clients in your business, then listen up. Today, I'm walking you through the Adobe Express on-demand features in order to help you blow up your social media business. Whether you're a beginner social media manager or looking to level up your business, this video is going to apply to you. Hey, my name is Mil and I own a multi six-figure social media agency and I now help social media managers do the same. If you're new here and you are an aspiring six-figure social media manager, then make sure you grab my free roadmap to becoming a six-figure social media manager. So let's get started. So the first thing you will need to print on demand with Adobe Express is to brainstorm. Here's the thing about growing a social media business. We're so focused on social media, right? And of course we can see results with that even for our own business in the beginning, but that we almost forget about one of the fastest ways to grow our business, which is face-to-face -face contact. Especially in your early days in your business, you want to get in front of clients and potential clients in person. And I did a ton of that in my early days of my business, attending networking events, talking to business owners, visiting local businesses, and handing over my business card or contact information, and sometimes a flyer with my services. But since my business has grown, I've almost forgotten about that way to get clients for myself. And right now I do a lot of speaking, attending in-person conferences. So I still network a lot, but the number one thing I never bring is a business card. And so this is one thing that I would like to create with Adobe Express with you today to show you and actually order a pair for myself so that I can use these business cards to spread the word about my agency, to make people remember me and my contact info in order to get in touch. But this is really one of the best ways for you to start start getting new clients because in person, they can see you, get to know you, and really trust you, which takes a way longer time doing that over the internet, over social media, right? Now, if you don't have Adobe Express yet, you can get on their free trial for 30 days, check it out, and start creating a business card or business flyers with me. But before you dive into designing these, you need to brainstorm for yourself how you want to create your on-demand prints that you can use and apply to your business, bring them to events, bring them to local local businesses where you can leave your marketing items that we're creating today. So now that you have brainstormed and have a concept in mind, it's time to bring your vision to life. So let's head over to Adobe Express. So once you're inside of Adobe Express, you're gonna head over to the print section. Once you're in the print section and you need it any more brainstorming or ideas, you can see that they have a couple of ideas here to get started. Whether you're looking to create a flyer, your services, a poster, maybe even a thank you card for referrals you've had in the past or from business owners. Those are all great to do. Something we have done in the past is holiday cards for clients as well and surprise them with that. So that's something you can do as well. But today I am going to make a business card because I really need those for events, for networking, and I don't have any right now. I haven't had any for years actually, which is pretty crazy. So here in the beginning, you can choose the size of your business card. I personally love to stand out and disrupt. So I'm gonna go with the square business card so that it's not like every other business card. And those also fit in everyone's pocket or purse or wallet, you name it. So once you're inside of here, there are a lot of templates to help you to get started. So you don't have to start completely from scratch. So it gives you a lot of ideas. I personally like this one and so I'm gonna load this template you can even go as far as text to template which is an AI feature to help you create your design as you can see here this is the, fr the front page of the business card and here is the back page now you may wonder like, okay, but this is very generic. This is a template and yes, but I have preloaded my brand inside of Adobe Express over here so that I can directly use my exact branding for this business card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this specific template and add my own colors in here. So I'm gonna use my navy blue here. And so I can change my fonts here. I can change the colors all in my own branding. And that's of course what we Want. we wanted to reflect our own brands, make it very custom and that people remember us. 
So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Now, while this template is a little bit plain, if I wanna add some more branding, I can add my logo, which I have over here. And here you can see if I hit apply brand, it actually applies everything right away to my entire business card, which is pretty awesome. So I don't have to do that myself. And then you can even add a QR code, which is very 2024. I would highly recommend to do that either to the website, your socials. Of course, as a social media manager, you do want to have your social media on there. So I highly recommend that. But you can change all of this in your own branding. And of course, you want to change the info, your name. So you can go back and forth here between the first page and the second the back page of your business card so now once you wrap up your design and you're happy with it you can spend as long as you want on it right get creative with it create different versions whatever you like it's time to get technical with the actual print on demand on adobe express so this can be a bit tricky so i'm going to show you exactly how to do this in here you can actually see an actual preview if you zoom in of what the actual business card is going to look like i love to see that because it makes it a bit more real to actually see what it looks like and the front and the back i love how it's a square it's so different and another thing that will come in handy is you can actually see the types of papers they have and give a better idea of what they look like so when you once you go in here down here you have the front page right that you created and the back page make sure you have both of these selected because it gets printed together now then it allows you to choose a corner do you want a regular corner or a rounded corner i personally prefer a, a normal corner just because i already have a square business card now and then it allows you to choose the paper from experience talking i personally really like the standard one rather than the premium one so the biggest difference is the premium one is a bit thicker paper and while they can have a more advanced feel and look this is for you to decide and personal preference really but i remember from experience that the semi gloss I've really liked in the past it's a little bit shiny and again you can see here inside the preview as well what kind of what they would look like so check those out to decide on what material you want your business card printed and it will give you more details here as well about the actual size of it and what the material is made of if you need to know the specifics if not I would always just recommend order the cards to kind of find out for yourself which one you prefer and they do have a hundred percent happiness satisfaction guarantee so that if something happens to the car that you don't happen to like outside of typos even though i've had that before in the past as well then you can always let adobe express no and say hey these cards didn't come out well can we reprint them so down here you'll see i now selected the semi-gloss and you can choose how many cards you actually want of course the more you order the cheaper it gets but even if you get one pack of 100 cards it's only 28 dollars and and considering how much business you're going to win with a hundred business cards, those $28 will be made back within no time. So the ROI really is there. Then you simply edit a card and you will fill out your details, shipping details, payment details, and they will come straight to your house and you will have business cards to actually blow up your business, show your face, network. And remember, your network is your net worth. So it's exciting to have these on hand and try different things to gain new business for your growing social media company. I hope you found this tutorial helpful walking you through the steps. In my opinion, it's really, really easy to create them. They really look so good. I cannot wait for mine to arrive so I can actually show you on social media. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm definitely gonna show them there so that you can create more physical marketing material that you can use and hand over to people, which is just so different than showing up on social media nowadays and really showing your face in person. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up comment below and I'll see you in next week's video.